Projection of lines is a slightly complicated topic and if you want to be perfect with this, you'll have to be perfect with the master diagram that we had seen in our previous video. Once you are perfect with the relative positioning of all the positions in the master diagram, you'll be very easily able to solve that problem. Money or one, this is Sri Kantrangdul and in this video we'll be talking about another problem from projection of lines. Okay, so here we have a problem definition for us, our problem. We have a straight line PQ and its end is P is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So position of one of the points P has been given to us. So let us start by drawing our diagram. So here, X, Y line. We we'll just place this here as X and Y. I'm just copy pasting it with Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And then I can always change the values. edit the text by double clicking on it. Now what I'll do is I'll take a line starting here and uh, the point P is 20 mm above and another line I'll draw from here 30 mm below. So I'll just extend this line I'll just move this line a little inwards horizontally. Now this point here is nothing but the first point I'm just copy pasting the points double clicking to edit P dash and this point here is the top view which is just P. Next up we'll have to see what other information is given. So we have been given the Q is 80 mm above HP and 70 mm in front of AP. So what we'll do is we'll create the locus of the endpoints. So I'll take an offset of 80 mm above X y line. So the point Q will be somewhere on this. This is the locus of the point Q and the top U is 70 mm in front of VP. So I'll take another offset of 70 mm from the XY line on the lower side. So the top U of the point Q will be somewhere on this line. Next, we have been told the end projectors. The end projectors are 60 mm apart. So the distance between the end projectors. It means if you see the master diagram here, the end projectors are nothing but these two lines. The lines joining the uh, final front views uh, and top views of the two points. Fine. So these two lines they are called the end projectors. Now since the end projector distance has been given we will just take an offset of this uh, line in this direction. So end projector distance has been told to be 60. So offset of 60 from here in this direction and then we will just extend these lines on both the sides and trim unnecessary lines this much will be enough for us. I'll just stretch it back here a little. So now that we know this point here is the final view. The final front view and the final top view. So final front view of Q just Q dash. Final top view of Q that is just Q. Now if we join this point here and this point here we have got the final front view and final top view. Final top view and final front view here. So I'll just match the properties of this make them dark. Now the projection of lines, the final position of the line as it is, we have got it till now. Now the question moves ahead and asks us something. So it is asking us to determine its true length. So we now have to find out the true length of these lines and the true inclinations with the reference planes. So to do that we will have to you know com complete this particular diagram. So he can, here we can see the final front view. From final front view we have this arc with the center point here. So I'll just proceed to draw the same. Mm -hmm. I'll take a circle from this point and we need that circle only up to this point, this line the horizontal. So I'll take a line up to this horizontal. I'll select them both, TR enter to trim it off. So this is the arc that I've got here. Now this point that I get here is nothing but the B2. Fine. So here since we have the point as Q, so we will have to just replace this B with Q. So this is our point. So this is just a temporary point. Now we have got the front view of this point Q2. And then we will have to find the top view of the same point. So that will be at the intersection of this. So I will just stretch this X Y line a little more. Fine. So this point here is nothing but the top view of Q2. Right. Then if you join this point here with this one, this is what is the actual length. This is what is the true length. So I'll take the dimension of aligned dimensions 
check out its measurement. So this length that we am, that I'm getting here is nothing but the true length. So TL. Okay. So you can just reduce its length slightly to avoid it overlapping. The same you can do on the top side. So what you have to do is you'll have to draw a circle with P as center passing through Q up to the horizontal line from P. We'll just have to trim it off. So this point that we get here is the top view of another temporary point that is Q1 let us say. Now for this you'll have to again get the front view. So take it up to here. No, not up to here. You'll have to go straight all the way up to the locus point. So the intersection with this locus point. That's what we need. So this point that we get here is the front view of Q1. The front view of Q1. So let us call it as Q dash. Q1 dash. Fine. Okay. So having done this, now we will get another temporary line. So here again we will get the true length. Let us just confirm it. 93.81. You can see the true length is same in both front and the top views. And we'll just have to find the inclinations. So the inclination, the true inclination in the front view will be 40 and the true inclination in the top view is going to be 25. So these angles are actually rounded off values. If you want the actual values, more accurate values, you'll have to go into dimension settings by pressing D enter, go to modify and here in the angle primary units this is where the angular dimensions you have to increase the precision so if you increase the precision of the angles you will get more accurate angles so here you can see the angle it's coming out to be 25.24 degrees and 39.76 degrees which had actually been rounded off and provided to us initially so thank you for watching this video if you like it just hit this like button and subscribe to channel for further updates